And Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley says it could be a game changer for downtown Cincinnati if that's where GE puts a nationwide operations center. GE is definitely going to build that center in greater Cincinnati, but the exact location has not yet been decided and could lead to competition now between Cincinnati and Mason, which sources say are the finalists. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hurst joins us live with a huge economic shot of the arm for the area. Jeff. Well, good afternoon, boy. It is unbelievably windy here, so I hope you can hear what I'm going to say. Ohio has 16,000 general electric jobs, and 9,000 of those are between southwest, in southwest Ohio between Dayton and Cincinnati. Now, this new operations center is going to bring 1,400 new jobs and a total of 2,000 to greater Cincinnati. But where in greater Cincinnati is the multi-million dollar question. GE has been a big part of our economy for years with the jet engine plant in Evendale. Now the GE president is about to expand. Frankly, it is the biggest announcement of job creation in 10 years in, in the state of Ohio. Governor John Kasich and Joe Allen of GE announced the company will build a global operations center somewhere in greater Cincinnati, bringing 1,400 new jobs to town. This is not an expansion of the jet engine business, but rather bringing all of GE's back office functions from 48 other states to here. So if you think about finance, uh, information technology, human resources, uh, professional jobs that will you know, give us an opportunity to consolidate within a region, and in this case in the U.S. Sources confirm three sites are under consideration, the banks in downtown Cincinnati, Oakley again in the city, and Mason in Warren County. Until the new building opens wherever, GE is leasing temporary space in the Atrium 2 building downtown, which Mayor John Cranley sees as a good sign the nearby banks could be the winner. If GE decided it made sense for GE to locate there, having another Skyrise, you know, building on our riverfront, I mean, you talk about momentum and mojo. I mean, this is going to be awesome. Cranley says the city will offer incentives depending on where GE wants to go, if it's in the city. A garage might be needed at the banks, not so in Oakley, but tax breaks are possible wherever. But why greater Cincinnati at all? A GE spokesperson says it had to be in a place where GE already has lots of workers. And Cincinnati is right in the middle of GE world. Lighting in Cleveland, jet engines here, and appliances in Louisville. Texas has lots of GE workers too, but... It's always great to beat Texas when you're from <laughs> Ohio. I mean, I'm thrilled with that.